Hi, Kyle. First of all, first time out there this spring. Um, you had a long last inning. How did it feel after this Felt good. You know, first two innings worked quickly, got the ball on the ground uh, quite a bit. Um, you know, third inning there, a little mishap in the middle of infield, and then, you know, walk doesn't help. Um, you know, that bunt to lead off the inning, you know, that rally starter uh, for them, and that kind of got the ball rolling, but was able to kind of settle back down and kind of limit as much damage as I possibly could there. Um, you know, but I think, you know, that play on the middle infield, I think, you know, once season starts, once B Rod and Iglesias really start to get to know each other, that's going to be something that's turned without a doubt. And does it feel like you're catching up to get ready for a season? Do you feel about on schedule? No, I feel on schedule. Today felt really good. Arm felt good. I felt like I could go back out there and keep throwing. Um, didn't feel gassed at the end, even with that long inning in the third. Uh, felt strong to keep on going. Cop, Buddy has said that he's thinking four to five innings to start the regular season because of the shortened spring. Mm -hmm. But if things go well, could you see yourself pushing a little bit beyond that, or is that the smart thing to do? I think I think you got you got to play it being smart, and also you know what's what's going on in, in that game in the season where you know if we're cruising, our pitch count's kind of low, kind of let them go a little bit. I mean, with Colorado, weather's going to be a factor as well; it's going to be colder, um, so we have to you know take that into account. But I mean, I know Buddy has voiced to you guys, he's voiced to us his concern about staying healthy. Um, us five need to stay healthy, and, and you know the rest of the position players need to stay healthy if we want a, a, a good chance to win in this division. Do you think the work that you did before, during the lockout toward before you came to camp, did it prepare you as much as you needed to? Do you feel like you were where you needed to be? Yeah, I, I do. I mean, I, I felt like once we got spring training rolling, I didn't feel like I had to catch up or, you know, really press to get myself going. I felt like I was already there and whatever kind of schedule they set up for me, I was ready to execute it and wasn't worried about, you know, going into a two inning live VP and thinking that this might be a little much for me. I felt ready to go. And, you know, like I said today, I felt like I had more in the tank. And you did some simulating, right? Throw an inning, sit down, kind of pretend, yeah. right? Did yeah. you have anybody to swing against you before you got here? Yeah, I, I, uh, I was training at uh, uh, Trevor Bowers' place, throwing live VPs there. Um, I threw two there, uh, both two innings each, where it was uh, up, down, where I would throw, or Trevor would throw, I'd throw, I'd throw, and then Trevor would throw again, I'd throw. Uh, did that two times, so that was that was a good uh, piece that allowed me to prepare for you know this spring training, having to be in short. Any one or two things that you are concentrating on? I mean, you're an established pitcher now, and you've made your adjustments, but anything this spring that is an emphasis? Um, I, I have a new changeup grip, so that's going to be an emphasis for me. Um, working on, working that changeup as much as possible, so I can get very comfortable with it going into the season. Uh, I want to say we probably threw about ten today, so that, that was a good workload for that changeup. Through some quality ones, through some not so quality ones. So I'll go back, check video on that. You know, see what what we did good, what we didn't do so good. Um, in past spring trainings, I usually will start my first you know few starts with just fastball changeup, then move fastball changeup slider, fastball changeup curveball on the following one. This one is a little different. I'll I'll probably just be using all pitches throughout the throughout my starts just because it's short in spring training. I only have three starts. Forgive me for. Uh, we, we just, you know, found that, you know, we're, we're going to be able to get more depth on it, um, you know, be able to create more deception coming out of my hand. And we were able to come up with a grip to allow me to do that and, uh, and get, you know, true proper change up spin orientation on it to allow me to get, you know, to make my change up even better. Is it a circle change? Still? It's not a circle change. It's, it's more, it's like kind of similar to a fork ball, actually. Oh, it is. Yeah. I, my it's a three prong and it's just spread. Uh, throughout the teams of the ball. Because you were throwing a circle change before, right? Uh, it's kind of like a half circle change. Okay. Yeah. Did you have to stick a softball in there and spread your fingers? I, I, I've been I've been doing everything I can to you know like stretch out my fingers with a baseball, but yeah. Hey, um, this added change up. Do you look to try to get quicker innings in the beginning of the season to maybe get more innings? In other words, if you throw fewer pitches, get quicker decisions. I mean, I'm, I'm always trying to have fast innings. Um, you know, allow the offense to get to do their thing, you know, get off the field and, and let them hit, score runs for me. Um, but, I mean, I'm always one of those pitchers that's trying to get the ball on the ground, trying to get weak contact early and, and often. So if I can do that for seven innings, that's great. Thanks, Colin. Yeah.